Welcome to Wedding Wednesdays. Oh, oh. So super exciting, Tyler and I, we're getting hitched. But we don't have that much time, so I gotta hop to and get to planning this wedding. I'm meeting up with my mom today and we are gonna get started by finding a venue. You know they say, it all starts with the venue. I think they say that. They should say that. Keisha, thank you so for joining us. so great to see and meet you both. I know. We're also meeting with Keisha, who's gonna be my wedding planner. What are you looking for? You know, I've been thinking about this a lot, and there's just one thing that I know that I want. What I want is a tree, that's all I know. I've been looking through literally hundreds of wedding pictures on Pinterest, scouring the internet, and what I'm really loving is a great big tree for the ceremony. I will help you with your vendors. I will help you negotiate. Some people charge six to eight dollars just to cut a slice of cake. Cut your cake. Per person? Mm -hmm. Per person. We're starting to learn that this wedding business is kind of a racket. Do you need a video wall with a DJ? Do you need it all? Uh-huh. Because you don't want to take away from certain elements. So, like the bride. Well, the bride, but the like natural the beauty. Hey, it's my wedding too. We have to be okay in every situation, so we need to look at it from all angles. Right, and that's true, because yes. what if it does rain, if this is gonna be in November? I don't use the R word. <laughs> Today we're going to scout out four different possible locations and hopefully by the end we're going to find a place for this wedding. Or at least we'll find a tree for it. We don't have a lot of time, we got to get yeah, going. Okay, I'll so tell them in the car. Okay, yeah. perfect. So first stop is the Botanical Garden. Work office. Good lord. Can you need to answer this? Yeah. Hello? Uh, hi. Hi. Big Brother Scott. It would be nice if we could just concentrate on the matter at hand. You know, spending all my money that I've ever hoped to earn, but I've got a business to run. And you hold with your left pointer finger the shift or the, uh, the key that's to the far right on the left. <laughs> we all know mom is a creative person, right? If your left hand, you have keys, and they're all like to your left. Turns out she's even more creative when it comes to keyboard shortcuts. And you click on the right key that's on the farthest left and then you, you highlight with your right hand on your mouse, and then you... Real creative. As some of you may know, I am a fashion blogger, and Scott just had me do an overhaul on his wardrobe, which he desperately needed. Well, I think I understood the concept of what Taylor was trying to teach me. If it doesn't feel natural, it probably goes together. <laughs> Trust the expert, okay? What's wrong with that hand? Like, they're not even touching the floor. There's a flood coming, but apparently that's in, so. We've arrived at our first stop for potential wedding venues, the San Diego Botanical Garden. Okay, well, we have to go now, honey. Love you. Bye-bye. He just hung up on him? Yeah. You're not the only one I hang up on. They have a couple sites throughout the garden that are designated for weddings, so we're going to check them out. This lush 37-acre garden includes rare bamboo groves, desert gardens, a tropical rainforest, and a subtropical fruit garden. Yeah, I wikied it. So this is the walled garden right inside here. This is the option? It's really unique. The grounds are absolutely beautiful, but it's not quite right. All right, Mom, fire up. Okay, We're going go. to Fallbrook. It can't be a rainy day one whole day. Oh, no. That's a good thing. I'm gonna play this so we can get back to the navigation. That way we don't miss where you're supposed to exit. Oh, that's oh. a great idea. So I'm looking for a song to walk down the aisle to. You guys have any ideas? Leave me a comment below. I don't know if this would be live or played. So I can't play what I'm thinking because it's copyrighted, but I will link it below and you guys can check it out. It's a mashup between Taylor Swift and Coldplay, and it's amazing. But she it's suggested that I go down the aisle to well, this country song. It for me? So mom has an idea of a group. I think they're either Asian or they're Irish. <laughs> mom, you were literally 
so politically incorrect. It is painful. Yet another detail that we need to work on. I just know that it's like the nine nine Irish girls band or nine Chinese girls band. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they're all girls. Is that how? Yes, this is happening. But the name of their band has their country in it. And how many of them there are, and it says girls. So I'm saying I am not racist. They are. They have no problem with where they're from. <laughs> yes, and she's got another one, too. Good Lord, just shut up. I want to hear the song. Are you sure you want to cancel root guidance? Damn sure. Canceling root guidance. Next stop is the Mount Woodson Castle in Ramona. I like the trees, they're the right type. Just so you know, Keisha, she trips on everything. <laughs> everything. And she also burps a lot when she's mic'd up. The inside seems a little spooky. But the grounds are great and it's very spacious. Now the only thing is I don't want the dance floor to be so far away that it doesn't feel natural to be... To get up and go dance. Right. right. <laughs> don't trip, Mom. There's only one street in Ramona. It's a small town. And I know where it is and we're headed there right now. We've got one more place in Ramona to check out and then it's off to La Jolla. Do you know what's weird about oh the word Ramona? <laughs> All this time in my mind, I have visualized it as starting with an M. <laughs> so what's weird is your mind, not the word Ramona. We can get married at the Ramona United Methodist Church. In my mind, I've seen the word Ramona. M R O. Mm. I think it's the, because the Ramona, the, the emphasis is on the Ramona. Don't try to help her. This is not <laughs> at all logical. <laughs> oh my gosh, Shara. You just I have another flashback? This is the place where Dad and I had our little romantic getaway. Ew. Oh, it's coming up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Is that your wait for it hand? Wait for it, and see? Right here, see all that white fencing? Uh -huh. That's, no, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy thing is, my mom is convinced that she has an amazing memory. Mom. It's one of those, and it's not a white fence, okay? <laughs> So we're getting close to spot number three, and it's getting a little more rugged. Okay, slow down maybe, that's a good idea. Turn right. right. This is pretty, let's hope everyone has a tank like we do to get there. <laughs> Chapel or something? Yeah. This is my guess. Don't be yelling, we're somewhat trespassing right now. Dear God. There's a beehive. You're gonna go knock on their back window? Well, let's just leave them be. This place is gorgeous. The lake, the stone trail, the dock for photos. Let's see if they have a tree. You guys, I think I like this one. Oh, I, lo I love I have chills. Details. And it's not even because I'm cold. cold no. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The tree. You know what she asked the other day? Wait, do I not get to go to the bachelor party or bachelorette party? Oh, I'm going. I'm paying for most of this thing. You are not going to kick me out of the party. You and you can bring your own it. alcohol. Yes. So that keeps costs down. We could go to Costco and get in all that. In fact, if we do an uh, invitation that says BYOB, no. we're perfect. We are good. <laughs> Maybe we could cut down on some of the costs of this wedding. You get two complimentary bottles of wine. Well, that's not going to go very far. <laughs> Dad and I will <laughs> barely get our whistle <laughs> wedded. <laughs> you know, you propose to your bridesmaids these days. It's like a real big thing. 
cute. Emily, will you be my bridesmaid with like their own personal champagne? Mm. Isn't it funny how a thing has now become a thing? Maybe they could bring their bottle of champagne with them <laughs> to add to the two that we get. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Mom. As the benefactor of this potentially lavish event, <laughs> I think this is a great idea. That would then be 15 bottles. Seriously, <laughs> it's adding up quick. And if you could include the one that you that Tyler gave you on your proposal, we're at 16. We're, 16. we're, 16. we're getting up there. <laughs> now this venue is beautiful. I mean, nearly perfect. But it's really far from the airport, which is how most of Tyler's family will be getting here. And I don't think there's near enough local hotel accommodations for the amount of guests we're planning for. Marona. Fourth and final destination. The Herringbone Restaurant is in La Jolla. It's really unique and I love the interior. It's hip and they have trees in the restaurant. Hey, Shara. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is my mom, Rebecca. Hi. Hi. And our wedding planner, Keisha. Great to meet you. Well, she was saying we could do 130 and then you can add maybe some extras on the side. Oh, too thin. Okay. Well, we love, love, love. Oh, and how cool is that? I never noticed that before. I've always come in here when it's so dark. But I think you got a good, I'm glad you're able to see it, right? Mm, this is visual. changes your mind a lot about the concept. The nice thing about having, doing it in Ramona or doing it at the end is it's all in one spot. It's something to consider. I mean, if we set it up here, it would just be for the reception. So we'd still need to scout out someplace close for the ceremony. We got so much accomplished today. It was so exciting. And honestly, it was such a treat to have Keisha on board. The girl knows her stuff. Cheers to you. All of the places were beautiful. I mean, each had their own strengths and they had their weaknesses, but all were worthy venues. So I'm curious, which one would you guys choose? There's the garden, the vineyard, the restaurant, and the castle in Morona. There's a beehive! Ew! Shara, do you know what this reminds me of? Peacocks! We rented a car. Do you know what peacocks do? They peck the shit out of themselves. They shit out of that car! <laughs> we get to the airport and we didn't buy the extra insurance. Park the car, you're gonna run and grab the bags, we'll throw the keys and we're gonna run! <laughs> Just to remind you guys, we are doing Wedding Wednesdays now. This was the first of a lot of episodes to come. We're gonna cover all of the different stages of planning a wedding. Picking your photographer, your florist, your venue, your dress. Lots of things to come and we're gonna share all the tips that we learn along the way and how we put together the ropes in wedding. If you guys wanna see next week's video, it's gonna be on my mom's channel, Ropes and Design. Check it out, it's fabulous and funny. And yeah, we're so excited. Thumbs up this video if you loved it, and if you haven't subscribed, click right here. In fact, I'm sure we'll probably have the next video over here or over here if this is like in two weeks or something, you know. Click away. See you next time, bye-bye. Wait for it. <laughs>